Sup, Nerd Migos. I'm the Jive Talking Nerd, John Norgrove. We've got Wife here, and this is Review Jive um, Books Are Lame Edition, I guess. Uh, so we're reviewing the audiobook Junk, which is an Audible original, mm -hmm. narrated by John Waters, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's written by Les Boehm. Uh, what did I already... It's already called Junk. I already said that. It's like ten and a half hours long. It's actually... Um, sci-fi horror? I would go with sci-fi horror. Yeah, it's sci-fi yeah. horror. So, uh, let's, we're going to do, we're going to kind of do this two parts real quick, like, so first spoiler free, and then I'm going to tell you when it's spoiler full. And then, uh, if you, if you <laughs> don't care to read it or if you care to read it based on what we said beforehand. So no spoilers. Um, what did you think of the book? Uh, it was okay. Yeah. Uh, I really thought it was going to be more horror and less, less, um, mystery less I don't know. mystery yeah it's a little mystery it's a little, it's a little more mystery than i thought um it is the the basic premise no spoilers really here mm -hmm. uh is that it, it takes place in a world where something called the bloom happens yeah. and it's uh something happens to people they they, they get infected of the population. something happens to people and some of them die some of them live and they're just like normies and then some of them bloom and when they bloom they have the ability to like go totally black eyes like bugs are uh i don't know if their eyes are faceted i imagine they're just like full black um which is pretty dope looking and those people are like extra yeah. they're like a little stronger a little faster a little smarter a lot more ruthless and heartless oh they're like and... but they're just like emotionless yeah, well, Almost. yeah, they're sort kind of. of like emotionless. Yeah, sort of, sort yeah. of, sort of. So um, I actually started listening to this book. We we just, he chose it, and I was like, okay. And I did not remember what this book was about, literally at all. Yeah. So, so it she was came like into it discovering like it, even yeah. though I'm the one who picked it on the Audible list. <laughs> yeah, and it's an Audible original. <laughs> it right? is you an Audible okay. original, okay, yeah. Cool. We got that as part of the Audible so originals deal. So I picked the book after I read the thing and was like, hmm, whatever. And then read some reviews, and I feel like a lot of the reviews are like, you either really like it or you really hate it. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was good. I'm pretty solidly uh, in the middle. It's like, it's kind of sci-fi, but there's not enough science. And it's yeah. like kind of horror, but there's not, not really anything spoopy. Horror. Like, there's kind of mystery, but not really. It's kind of fantasy, but not really. Yeah. It's kind of post-apocalyptic, because it's, like an apocalypse happens, a fuckload of people die. Yeah. Like, they literally and it's also talk kind about of like moving social bodies. social commentary, but like I not guess, really. In like a lame way. Yeah. 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 So, it, I don't know. It's... It's worth it just just for John Waters. John Waters did an amazing, he, amazing he, job he at uh, at doing the the the, the narration. I was yeah. like, the words? Yeah, What's the doing, word for this? For doing the wording. He did a really good job for yeah. wording it out loud for everyone. And um, he he's it, I think that really made a lot of it for me also. Yeah. But the book wasn't it wasn't bad. Uh, I I did like some of the things with it. There were some things that I didn't really like, um, but yeah. I can't really go into that without spoilers. Yeah. So okay, before we go to spoilers, um, okayest book of all time. Yeah. 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 Okayest book of okay all time. Okayest book of all time. Yeah. 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 I can say that with confidence. It's it's real. I yeah. all of the emotions I have about it are like all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Uh, it was good enough to listen to. Read it or whatever. Uh, it's like 10 and a half hours. You're going to get it done in like a week. Yeah. So yeah. listen to it on your drive to work or whatever. Uh, it's cool. John Waters crushes it. Whatever. We're just going to go into spoiler town so that way I can complain about stuff. Uh, so spoiler time. Spoilers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I hated the end. Yeah, the end was the worst. <laughs> the end was like he's writing the book, and the book is good, and the book is good, and the book is good, and then like, and then they told him he needs to finish writing. And then the he told him he needs to finish writing it two pages in like yeah yeah in like two pages. Yeah, and then it's just like oh good pacing, good pacing, good pacing. Yeah, straight to the end. And I wasn't super happy with the the premise of how they beat the pluses. Uh, it was was really interesting. I thought that was cool. I would and have liked to explore it. understand more about the science of it, or yeah. I don't know something. But I feel like once they got to the point where they were able to beat the pluses, and they had the music, and they have 
the broadcast for Helen, it just like kind of fell apart Yeah. from there. Like it was really well put together there. And I think if he had solidly done something a little more fleshed out with the ending or maybe ended books. it in a different place. If it had been that two would have books. Been if he had done, oh, if he had done, if he had done a really book good all the way up, up to, to the broadcast and then end and well, then no, post no, not even the broadcast, the, a book up to when they found the box and they're like, Oh, it's not a box. It's a guitar, which is the, it, it's a guitar. Yeah. Right. I mean, box, it's like it's a, a fancy old time yeah, guitar, like but it's a guitar. guitar. Um, so if he had ended it with like, oh, when like if Helen had been like, oh, it's not a box, it's a guitar, end of book. Yeah. Right. And then the next book is them like trying to figure it out as no. a, as opposed to because they 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 giant eagled like five huge points at the end yeah, of the book. Yeah, they really Most did. specifically when like the villain of the entire story is like, boom, hey, uh, you got to play a song with it. It's this song. Yeah. And you're like, just cool. like kicks down the door, and they're just like, so we fine just with never, that, yeah. Even though they, she's been well, like torturing and, and murdering whatever. Okay, and I chasing accept people. that they're fine with it because they're able to like tell or whatever that I she's mean, no yeah, longer a bitch. I mean, yeah, there's like this pack of dogs right, but, that but, doesn't want to eat her, so but, that's nice. But it's just, it's the whole ending is so giant bald eagle, and or giant eagle, and yeah. and and the whole wrap up, and then the the last little like like you know knife in the craw, as it were. Is them being like, oh, they saw what's her name on a video camera with like ear blood coming out of her ears. Like maybe the one made it out alive. You know what? I actually kind of like, like that. Why, why would you? I kind of like do that, that no, like the that's... one, the the last Sentinel lady. That's like, like oh, maybe she escaped. But like, how? It made me. Well, I mean, she stabbed herself all, in the ear so she can't hear the song, so it doesn't affect her because uh, yeah. she has to hear. It. I mean, I so kind of like that. She's Although technically, like, the maybe... vibrations of the song would be the thing that does it, so she, it should affect her. Then just it should still from affect the skin her, right? or something. Yeah, but we didn't get enough of the science to really know. I actually didn't mind that. What I didn't like was the ending where they were like, where they were like, and then they played the song and everyone played the song and then all the pluses yeah, it was super reverted. hands around the fucking world yeah and it was, it was dumb. like it was very it was very like end of war of the worlds where they're like and the thing that brought them down is the virus oh yeah. only like if they continued that monologue for like another 10 minutes and you're just like i get it nobody likes the pluses anymore they're in like homeless camps and their families don't want to take them back because they were monstrous well, but but i'm they, just they like try, they did it in such a way where they were trying to make them feel bad i mean the entire ending was very clearly the way that it, the way that i felt and I, I mean i haven't looked into it so maybe les bowen isn't this person but it seems like he is a sitcom writer for Fox Network. Yeah, this would be a really good like series, like TV. No, 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 no. That's not a compliment at all. Also, this would make a horrible TV show. I there's, think people there's, could do it. N- there's, there's no way that if this is going to be anything good. If The Walking Dead is still on TV, this could be. If you on still TV. watch The Walking Dead, you're an idiot. Unsubscribe. Um, <laughs> it's a bad show. It stopped being good. It stopped being like good three seasons like a ago. Long, more than three. Y- yeah, seasons mo- ago. yeah, more than and three I've seasons read ago. All the comics. Yeah, it's hot garbage. Um, hot garbage. So uh, no, the, the 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 problem with the end of the show is the end of the show was so much. Can I get a second season? It was. Except for it's a fucking one shot audiobook. So of course like, you can't get a second season. I guess, what are you fucking bro? doing? Yeah, and I, yeah. I don't know. The ending was super weak. That being said, I actually like the main character. And I generally don't like the main character in most stories as that of is late. It's really surprising that you like uh, But the main I really character. liked him. He was good because he was like he was a corrupt cop and he had a dark past. But yeah. he was a corrupt cop for good reasons. And he had a dark past, but because he got caught doing something bad and like when the question was put to him when when real not oh maybe i can slide a a, 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 a thousand dollars in my back pocket to you know because my kid needs braces or fucking whatever yeah but like when the real question about life and death and and human sacrifice was presented to him he went out of his way i mean like to try yeah. And help. He was a he good was a, main character. He was a legitimately yeah. good person who just realized that bad things have to happen sometimes. I think a lot of the supporting you know? characters were really good too. Like Benick, he was a really good supporting character. I Benick liked, was pretty cool. Again, I would have liked for them to flesh more it out more. information about Benick. I did not care about Helen literally, literally at all. Fuck I liked that bitch. I liked Helen nope, because didn't even care because she did was crazy. Not care and everybody was like hold on a second i'm sorry this bitch is crazy and they're like yeah and then she did. said one or two crazy things and they're just like she did say a lot of crazy things but okay. like 
did not care I about like Helen. It. Didn't like it. Was it. Like, it was like this. Could have cared less. Helen is flat earth Jesus. She is flat earth She's Jesus. She's flat earth Jesus. I liked Marianne, the main bad guy. There was some interesting things with she her. She was cool. She they was did super flesh, cool. They did flesh her out a yeah. bit. I wish that I some of the other characters they brought her they husband and out. kids in. Yeah. That was an intense fucking scene. Yeah, there, like, was, there was some really there, intense scenes. There were scenes. a lot of good scenes in it, right? There was a lot of good stuff in it, but it just... Kind of... It fell short. It felt hollow, maybe. Like, yeah. it could have been It could have been more, but it just kind of wasn't. Again, it, it, it really felt like... It felt like a screenplay for a sitcom. That they're like, flesh it out, write an ending for it. You have 20 minutes to do all that. We're turning yeah. it into an audio book because we don't want to buy the package. You know what I mean? So, so like, like John Waters crushed it. The main character was awesome. And, like, the witches were kind of cool, I guess. Um, maybe answer that fire, not death shit. Move fuck a little bit. Um, I want to know about like that. What, what happened to that cop homie of his who, like, literally yeah. saved his life? You have no idea. Very beginning of the book, one motherfucker sacrifices everything to help out a dude that he doesn't even fucking know. He just read his file and was like, listen, this guy got a bad rap. I'm going to help him out. Yeah. What happened to that motherfucker? We don't know. Right? Literally at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally at all. But uh, those are really the only things I didn't like about it. The rest of it was solidly okay. Yeah. It, it was good. I feel like... I feel like it was the first draft to a really good TV series. Yeah. Right. Like it, it yeah. could get if 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 Fox picked it up, and I'm gonna use Fox just because they're like the assholes, right, of network television. They're the ones it's that like cancel not good a shit WB. and fire. No, of course not. No, no, no. It could be on CW. Right. It could be on FX. Yeah, it's not violent enough for FX. It is violent enough for FX. Really, you think so? Yeah, there was a lot. I mean, of, I guess you didn't make her kid jump out a window. I don't know. I didn't really think it was that of violent. There was mayhem and murder happening, uh, like okay, a lot, yeah. and like uh, weird sex stuff. I, I feel like there was a lot of weird sex stuff. That's true. Yeah, but it's I, definitely I feel an, an like FX show. I feel like if they really fleshed out a lot more characters and kind of brought the plot a little bit more, like just kind of had like had a couple of good writers come in and kind of get involved in yeah. it. I think that they could really make a good... You know what? Rob Zombie could turn it into a fucking great movie. Ooh. Rob Zombie would turn it into a fucking fantastic I movie. I would watch that. Rob Zombie signs on to do this. Yeah, I am 100%. so in. Yeah, tickets, so in. tickets Thursday night at midnight. 100%. Yeah. Um, so I would give this... Uh, I would give this a good solid two and a half stars. I actually ended up rating it three stars on Audible because you can't do a half star... Uh, so I felt like two wasn't enough, but three is a little much, but I would give this a solid two and a half stars for the, uh, for the, for the story and the whole overall experience for the narrator. I would give it easily four stars. Yeah. I think without him, if it was somebody else that wouldn't have been nearly as good of an yeah, experience. Yeah. So I what gave it, I gave it four stars on audible. Right. But that's because I gave the narrator five stars. John Waters fucking crushed it. He's so good. I want him to narrate more books. John Waters is up there with um, Captain Janeway. Um, oh, uh, uh, whatever her name is. Oh, my God. I've met her. And I don't Treadway? know. Treadway? Jerry Treadway? Treadway? No. Okay. That's nowhere close to an answer. I don't even so know what I don't even know, know what human that is. Um, It's just make believe. Uh <laughs> Anyway, uh, um, I I think that I think that John Waters is one of the best um, narrators we've seen so far, and I I think that the book had a lot of potential, and it just like it didn't bring the heat, you know, it didn't bring the thunder. But um, yeah, I would give it three stars. You know yeah. what? When I first got done with it, I was just like, okay, this was pretty cool because because it it really did pick up pace, and I really did like the main character, and that has way more meaning. Like. Uh, if you have Goodreads, look me up. It's John Norgrove, um, and follow me on Goodreads because I I do a full I do a uh, like a written review for every book we listen to. And we listen to a shitload of books. Yeah, we do. Um, you can follow me too, Julie yeah. Norgrove. Yeah, follow I'm her. Real also. lazy about writing reviews though. Uh, no, so I, I'll write. Like I always five write in a row, review. I won't write any at all. I'll write yeah. five in a row. I won't write any at all. Oh uh, no, no, no! I always write a review, but it's just because I kind of enjoy like getting my opinion out there, and sometimes I disagree. Some books I you have issues with. You enjoy getting your opinion out there. Ooh. Would have thought, right? Oh, anywho, um, no, I, I mean, I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was awesome. I just, 
I gave it four initially, and now that we've had like what three days, yeah, to fucking think about it, I, I feel like I can give it three stars like confidently. And really, the story is like one and a half or two stars. But John Waters is like a five star narrator, so he really elevated like yeah. just the whole thing because there are bits in the middle like the whole pie thing that they just didn't address yeah right it, there were some things and, that and, i feel like they were and, just like we don't have time I love, I love the main character right but like he's in a car with a stranger after basically being hard introduced to murder town Right. And then she's like, oh, let's go get a pie. And he's like, fucking, I guess. And then she takes him to a place and people are like shotguns. Like, we don't like your kind around here. And, and she's then like, she like, she's like, cool. And then just like smears a child. Two. And he's yeah. And he's just like, all right. Because they were twins. Yeah. Remember? But, it's, yeah. but it's like, you're not going to fucking just ask like, okay. more questions. Like, nobody knows what's happening at this point. Yeah. You're like, all you're going to ask, like, all you're going to respond to about her really liking pie is that that would have gotten her a date when you were in college. Yeah. What? Oh, ha, ha. our light just turned off. Yeah. Oh, oh, light change. The camera adapted. <laughs> well, I would not. say that that's a Look good time for us. Look at this. We're going to... Oh, oh it's back. no, that looks awful now. No, 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 it's fixed. I feel like it maybe it looked white better balance without fixed. the light on. Uh, okay, well, well I would time. say that that's, is, that's like when they take the hook and they try to drag you off the stage. That was, we just Oscars. got hooked off the stage because so, of the robot. So, three stars, junk. John Waters is the best. Uh, and I read. would definitely read something from that author again. It was not, it was not a bad experience. Uh, what's next? Next, we are listening to Sovereign. Sovereign, yes. Which uh, is, which is, give me, which give me is two also seconds. on Audible. It's, yeah, we're, we do Audible, so it's yeah. got to be always on Audible. So, so we're listening to Sovereign, which is narrated by Jesse Einstein. Mm -hmm. That's a dope last name. I didn't notice that. <laughs> and it's written by Jeff Hirsch. It is a, that is how you start sci -fi a Sci-fi. It's a sci-fi book, book, sort of. It's like, a, it seems like it's an adventure sci-fi. It's about a dude who's like lost on a planet or Again, possibly a girl. I don't really necessarily know what it's about. I choose the books to go yeah. in our list and then they just end up in the list and I kind of forget what they're about. This is another 2019 release. Uh, oh, cool. USA Today, best-selling author. Yeah. Um, so we'll be listening to that next. Wow. When we're done with that, we'll be doing another review. If there's something in particular you'd like us to read or yeah, you'd if you like to see if we have read. Review that you, or like a book you know. want us to read, let us know below or like hit me up on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or, or any of those things. And, uh, and we'll, um, yeah, we'll totally read it. I mean, we tear through these books super fast. Yeah, so. let's make it a reading club. That's what, that's what happens when you have to commute 45 minutes to an hour to get to work because yeah. you bought a house. We live in the woods. We live in the woods. So one day you'll get to see the house. Maybe. We'll see how I feel. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, but either way, uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm getting blinked at by the camera. And uh, I've been John Norgrove. This has been Wife. Uh, fucking read a book. Yeah, read a book.